just before we start, I just want to say that this is going to be a completely non-spoiler review. What's going on? Thank you so much for tuning to the channel. And without further ado, let's get on to the review. So this is not going to ruin anything for you. The only thing I might touch on is little bits that you see in the trailer. So if you've never even seen the trailer for this movie, yeah, click off this review and come back once you've seen that trailer or seen the movie itself. So I've actually just parked up maybe about 20 minutes away from the cinema where I actually visited. So it was like kind of nice and quiet. I could talk to you guys because I just got out seeing Spider-Man no way home which i actually saw the first ever shown here in the uk cinemas at 9 a.m and view at gateshead the movie is directed by john watts firstly who hasn't really done much beside the spider-man homecoming trilogy but what a stamp and benchmark he's made on the industry after seeing and directing these three movies we've also got returning tom holland we've got zendaya back as mj of course we've got jacob battalon as ned and of course tom holland plays spider-man peter parker We've also got J. Jonah Jameson, and we've also got you know, returning characters like Alfred Molina, William Defoe, Jamie Foxx, and so many more others that talk about the plot of Spider-Man No Way Home. Focuses on straight after the events of Far From Home, where Mysterio reveals Peter Parker's true identity of being Spider-Man. And in the trailer, Spider-Man, of course, goes to Doctor Strange and wants to cast a spell so no one knows that he is Peter Parker, of course, Spider-Man. That is basically the plot. That's all I'm going to say. What can I honestly say about this movie? Well, I don't know where to start. I really, really don't know where to start because the movie was incredible. Honestly, wow. Wow, wow. If you are a big Marvel nerd, if you're a nerd in general, you're going to love this movie. The action sequences are fantastic. Yes, some of the comedy dialogue doesn't exactly work, which you tend to find with Marvel movies, but the ones that do work is fantastic we also get some amazing cgi i think marvel kind of pushed the boundaries on some of the cg that are used and focused in this movie and you can tell that forefront and push cg is crisp it's clean it looks wow it kind of like takes your breath away especially that part in the trailer where you know dr strange is chasing spider-man it kind of felt a bit like Inception, like the dream sequences where it kind of goes in on the worlds. That's what it really felt like. Just breathtaking, groundbreaking, just breaking new grounds. That's what it truly, really, really felt like. And Tom Holland as Peter Parker and Spider-Man. If anyone doubted him before this movie, well, I think you're going to eat your words because he was incredible in this movie. And also just the character growth that he has and just the growth in himself. It's just, you have to behold that because, you know, we have moments in our lives where we start from one place and then we kind of gradually get to further, further, further up and that character growth throughout the years. And that is just really embodied in this movie. And I really felt like it was anyway. It was so good seeing also Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. William Dafoe as Green Goblin because I grew up on those movies. I was only maybe around 12 years old when those original Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3 came out. So seeing them on the big screen after so many years and how they are uh, involved in this movie was just put a massive smile on my face. I really lit up and all I'm going to say is that I cried in this movie. Yes, guys. I cried in this movie. Honestly, I am so excited to talk about this even further. But all I'm going to say is that I don't have many negatives at all. The only one I'm going to touch on in this non-spoiler review is that odd little moments of comedy didn't work. As always with Marvel, most part they hit it, but then some part it isn't. But there is other little minor spoilers, but I can't talk about them here because I truly want you all to go in with just whatever expectation that you have and embrace embodied it and embrace it for yourself i don't want to be that guy who literally spoils this movie or anything at all but all i'm going to say is the way that they've had this multiverse set up and how it breaks etc in the trailer is really played out fantastically and with so much going on in this movie i really feel like john watts held it 
together and he really did a fantastic job. For example, Spider-Man 3 directed by Sam Raimi. I love that guy. I personally enjoyed that movie, but a lot of people, and the biggest criticism it has is that it's sloppy because there's so much going on. But I really felt like in this movie, it was contained far, far better. And the direction of that entirety, definitely the fluidity was just amazing. Just something to behold for yourself. So my overall score for Spider-Man No Way Home is... So if you've seen the movie yourself or you're planning to see the movie, let me know down below in the comments what you thought of Spider-Man No Way Home. In the meantime, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.